Hello everyone, and welcome back to another uh, Let's Play on my channel, a whole new Let's Play, my first live Let's Play ever, which will of course be one of my all time favourite Crash games, Crash Twin Sanity. So, here we go, wish me luck on this, this is the first time we ever doing a live Let's Play. So, uh, what I'm just going to do now is I'm just going to read out who is in the chat today. So, of course we have Janinja. Uh, as well as Max, a.k.a. Uh, Daijiro, has made an appearance for my live stream. So thank you so much for being here for that. And also we have uh, Spyro557 Jonathan. Oh, the Spyro Jonathan, sorry, I got the name all wrong. And we also have uh, Noel McDavid, finally joined. So uh, hello there. Uh, thank you so much for for joining the stream, Noel. So anyway, it's the... Uh, just checking everybody's doing well in the chat and of course Spyro Jonathan approves of the uh, Japanese soundtrack that I'm using which is pretty cool uh, for Crash Bandicoot and also oh yes I can tell this version is from Spyro 1's Haunted Towers uh, I didn't know that, that Spyro 2's Fracture Hills actually used the Haunted Towers soundtrack that's the first I've actually ever heard of that so thank you so much for pointing that out to me Oh, and we've also got Prime Artist, who of course would make an appearance after you mentioned Stage Fracture Hills. <laughs> and yes, it does suit the level, so yes, sir. Uh, uh, so, that is everybody here. So, uh, thank you so much for joining the stream. We are now going to start uh, Crash to Insanity. On a new save file, so wish me luck on this one. I'm not too sure how well this is going to go. So, anyway, here we go. Ha <laughs> I'm gonna get ya! <laughs> Come here! My insipid angel. Boom, 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 boom. Crash! Crash! Where are you, big brother? There's something weird going on in the bay! Come see! Just got to lower the volume of the game real quick because I didn't set that up before the stream. But anyway, yeah. Uh, here we go, it says autosave enabled, so this game uses autosave, one of the first Crash games to actually use autosave by the way, which is quite an interesting fact. So anyway, here we are in Insanity Beach. Uh, first things first though, everything looks all fat and ugly, so what we've got to do is we've got to change the uh, aspect ratio to widescreen on, because that is what we're basically doing. But now unfortunately, there is a little bit of lag, I'm not sure why that is, but uh, anyway, here we are. Uh, in Insanity Beach, the first area of the... Uh, now, chasing these chickens into these uh, nitro crates to get that first gem can be a real pain, because I have actually practiced this game before I did the stream the other day, so... Yes, now that was a lot easier than it was earlier on, but... Anyway, a red gem right here, so. Now this is something I've just recently discovered as well. These monkeys here. If they throw apples at you, uh, you actually gain apples yourself. Of which you can collect them off the floor as well. But yeah, I mean, they actually do throw apples at you and uh, you can actually uh, uh, gain Wumper from them, which is pretty cool. Now the game doesn't seem to be lagging as bad, it's still not running at full speed, I'm not too sure why that is, but... But anyway, yeah. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to try to explore as much as we can in Crash for Insanity. Because uh, there is quite a lot to explore in this game, because this is of course one of the first open world games. So 
So basically we're just like searching around this area for objects, you know, such as gems and... Because I am wanting to make this a 100% let's play by the way. So yes, uh, now there's nothing really up here, but I mean, uh, wow, well, all these fish. They don't exactly do any harm to you, but <laughs> I mean, so it's kind of funny how they just flow out the top. But anyway, we'll go back down here now. And what? Wait, what? I died? Oh, uh, I've just remembered now, if you fall from a distance in this game, which is something I totally forget, you die, which is pretty... Uh, Cool, uh, uh, mechanic. I mean, if you fall from a certain height, you die, and uh, which is not something you see before in other crash games or spiral games or platformers. So anyway, down here, this is a bridge that opens up later on. So just two platforms down here, but they do rise later on. Anyway, I'm just going to do a quick catch up on the chat at the start of the stream. So uh, here we go. We have uh, below. Belosa83, hello, so hello and welcome to the stream there, uh, nice to see some more people joining the stream, uh, I'll just read, and yes I restarted because I, as I say I tried to stream this before but it lagged really bad, I'm not in the, but I'd say this is really a second attempt, maybe too much for your CPU to handle it, uh, which I suppose yes that's probably, could be the issue, I'm not too sure. It says it's kind of weird that he stole the clothes of an underage girl and to take clothes he had to undress <laughs> Coco. <laughs> I suppose you do have a good point there, uh, Ryan. Well, she was wearing clothes when she came in later. Maybe he stole them from her closet. <laughs> that is actually probably a more... a better answer that, uh... uh ninja. <laughs> and, uh... And you didn't know that about the monkeys before, so you learned another thing new, so... That's actually something that I just recently discovered as well, which is pretty cool. And uh, it says also, if you put a nut and seed in the hole near the monkeys, a tree, a tree spout will grow up. Which I think I've actually discovered that before. I'm not too sure. He went into a little girl's closet. A grown man. <laughs> wow, cool details. Uh, it says Jonathan. Uh, we don't know how old he is, maybe he turned into a baby and walked, which he did in the 100% ending. Mario 64 does have fall damage, which is a good point, because I didn't still play Mario uh, 64. I haven't played Banjo because of it, but... So we die if, uh, on high ledges, if you fall out of bounds, areas where you can walk on high water, otherwise... Uh, Crash does the fall in animation, so... That was a quick uh, catch up on the chat, but anyway, we're going to... Uh, progress further on now and wow this is lagging really bad this is like horrific I, d I mean I really apologize for this why it's running really slow I don't understand why my game is lagging so badly I seem to notice if I pan the ca camera away from far this from far things uh, it doesn't seem to lag as much and says that I need to f play Banjo Kazooie uh, so yes, maybe I should play Banjo-Kazooie, uh, I might actually give that a go, so thank you so much for suggesting more games to me everyone. And uh, just to clarify, because I haven't asked this as of yet, but is my uh, does my voice sound good to everyone? You'll have to let me know what you think to that. Uh, is the music volumes good, the in-game volume? Does that need turning up or is it just about right for you? You'll just have to let me know uh, about that in the comments section. And the game looks fine to me so keep going, says Janinja. So uh, thank you so much for clarifying that. Even though we have got a bit of lag, but you know, it's still totally playable. It's just a bit slow. It is I, Aku Aku. My duty is to protect you. You may summon me by breaking open these crates. Call me thrice, and I shall grant you special powers. So first time you play Banjo Kazooie, you did not complete it, but you've completed it many times before anyway, so that's pretty cool to know. And also, yeah, voice sounds great and volumes are good, so that makes me actually quite pleased to hear that. Uh, Jonathan, so thank you so much for clarifying that. 
And wow, I mean, you've got to like belt body slam these targets here. But you've got to like get it in line, otherwise you'll not be able to get onto these platforms, which you need to, to get a gem, which can be pretty tricky. And yes, there we go, so we've just unveiled a blue gem, so. And you're willing to offer help on Banjo-Kazooie, which is really uh, generous of you, uh, so thank you so much for that, Jininja. And yes, I'm trying to continue with the lag. I mean, nothing can ever be perfect. I'm going to tell you that right now. I mean... But this is actually lagging really bad. I don't understand why this is happening. And wow, that is awful. And I deserve a thousand subs for my persistence. So, uh, thank you so much for clarifying that, uh, Jininja. It seems to be in less graphically intense areas that the, uh, the game seems to like. Now this has always been a really ch challenging, you've got to like put the bomb in its mouth and then you've got to sort of like push the haystack in order to get the gem up there so uh, the developers of this game, Traveller's Tales, really did know uh, what type sort of tricks to pull off in order to make this game quite tricky to play so <laughs> I mean I mean, it seems to be getting this quite alright. But on the plus side, uh, the stream is not dropping any frames, so that's at least one good thing. It's just that my emulator's lagging really bad. And I got autosave, because as, as I've said before, this game does indeed have autosave. And I'm actually going to try something here. I'm actually going to see if I can port uh, PCSX2. into real-time priority. It could cause system instability, so I won't do that. Uh, I'm just going to reopen the chat a minute, so if I just... Uh, bear with me for a minute on that. Just starting one or two technical difficulties, please bear with me one minute. I really do apologise for this. Anyway, here we go. With the next part, let's continue. I'll just catch up on the chat real quick. So, uh, so hello, uh, uh, BL Raven Wizard. So, hi there, and welcome to the stream. Uh, uh, I'm so glad to see that you're here. And uh, PlayStation All Stars Debate has joined the stream. So, uh, of course, thank you so much for joining that as well. And uh, somebody says we also need Nina Cortex and a Cortex skin, which I totally agree on that. And they also say boxes have always been really interesting to you. I mean, I wonder if they'll ever bring them back in future Crash games. Now, that would be pretty cool if I could do that. And yes, Cortex, the slow voice is really funny. Now, look how pretty this, like, forest looks here. I mean, the rays of... The, like, the light rays? I mean, look at the shine on it, the vibrancy and the colours. I mean, I've always found this game to look pretty good, good graphically. And yes, it does kind of fit to me. It's kind of funny and hilarious how the voice just slows down.
Do you think I should try real time priority in Task Manager? I mean, I've tried uh, obviously high priority, but if you want me to try real time, do you think I should do that? Uh, you just have to let me know. Uh, let's see if it actually does run the game any better. It's easy! All too easy. Right, this part here is a little bit challenging. This area always reminds me of 1996. Uh, in other words, the original uh, Crash Bandicoot game. I do kind of get that, uh, Jonathan. I totally, under I totally agree. I mean, that always, always kind of reminds me of the original game. It says... Uh, so, Jininja asks PlayStation All-Stars debate. Uh, how are you? And uh, and also, but he replied really well. I was beginning to record my game with my first game catcher card, that where I could live stream for Twitch, clips, and YouTube, which is pretty cool here. And yes, it does reference Crash One, just like I said. People say this game was rushed, but I believe they were just running out of time for them to add more, and they wanted to uh, mid development, which I do agree. I mean, if this game was a lot longer than it was. I mean, this would easily probably be one of my, my favourite Crash game. It's just I'm kind of disappointed that it kind of ends so soon. But, I mean, I wouldn't exactly say it's a short game because if you come to think of it, you can 100% Crash 2 and 1 quicker than you can uh, to just to complete the main story on this game. Now the lag does seem to have improved a lot. And yeah, development apparently did lose a lot of data, as Crystal Fisher said. Well, apparently there was a data blackout or something, if I'm not mistaken, which caused them to lose a lot of the data, hence why the game uh, was turned out how it was. I mean, don't get me wrong, the game has turned out pretty good, but apparently there was a data blackout, which therefore caused... a lot to uh, have data to be lost so they had to restart the game if I'm not mistaken or something like that or they had to redo quite a lot of parts of the game which is a shame that that happened because I would have loved to see this game be a lot longer I saw a video of a, of a lost level CF did uh, I don't know who CF is but oh Crystal Fissure that's it uh, me just being dumb. Uh, yeah, so they had to start from scratch. Yes, that's what I believe I had to do, uh, Jonathan. That's where it was, data blackout. Yes, that's correct, so thank you so much for clarifying that for me. And wow, we're lagging really bad. So talking about technical difficulties, I mean data blackouts and that. Talk about lag. <laughs> this is not going too well at all. <laughs> Because I really wanted to see Evil Coco and Gone a bit Coco, which I did as well. I mean, I mean, it really sucked that the data blackout had to happen. I don't understand why that happened. I mean, I mean, technology sucks as you know it in today. <laughs> That's like the only explanation there really is. And this cave looked really cool as well. I mean, look at the glow from all the mushrooms. Uh, the lighting effects on Crash. Now that has always looked really pretty to me, these caves. And yes, I should remake this game to add everything that was originally intended. I mean, that was one thing that really did, kind of. Uh... It's a shame that that got lost. I mean... Maybe if I remade the game, they could probably make this really good. Now, this is always found really hilarious as a kid. If you walk off to the side, basically this enemy just walks into the nitros and kills himself. <laughs> Which is just, I mean, crazy if you think about it.
It's true. Blondes do have more fun. And yes, of course they do. Uh, uh, you're very right there, Cortex. <laughs> Blondes do have more fun. Now, this area here, this like forest area, I've always found to be really cool. Now, this here, this statue of basically the first bot, one of the first bosses in this game. Now, this has always kind of like kind of intrigued me as a kid. I mean, this is a boss later on, as you'll probably see later on. I don't know if we're going to get to it in this part, because obviously the game is lagging and running really slow. And wow, that was a totally dumb mistake. But yes, this is the boss that we're going to be fighting very soon, guys. And what? I don't know if you just saw that, but I kind of just went through that piranha plant. Like, I don't know how that happened. That was just crazy. And I might not be talking too well today, because this lag really is stressing me out. So I think I've already got the gem, because I think if you die, the gem's not... Yes, that's correct. So if you die and you've got the gem, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. So I suppose that is at least one good thing. And yeah, I don't understand why the game's lagging so bad. I mean, that really does suck. Anyway, this part's really, I mean, really cool. I mean, the TNT crate explodes all the nitros, but I kind of like the way that they all, like, bounce out of sync. Now, as for the lag, I don't understand why it's happening, because, I mean, the game's not even using 50% of my CPU or my graphics, and, in fact, it's using nowhere near that, but the game just doesn't, it doesn't, just doesn't seem to be 100% utilising it all. I mean, I did tests before this stream, and maybe I should do actual streaming tests next time, I'm not too sure, but I did recording tests and everything seemed to go quite well, which... It's really uh, a shame why it's happening in the stream right now, but uh, this has always been really cool as well. How these tree stumps like get exploded and the tree falls, so you can actually like cross these bridges here. But no, I won't worry about it too much because at least the game can still be played. Now, these cutscenes here are two of my favourites, I'm going to tell you this now. I'm okay. The spikes broke my fall. <laughs> well, the spikes broke my fall. Now, I don't know if you just saw that, but for some reason on PCSX2 as well, you seem to be getting really bad. Like... I don't know, like, bad flickering in the cutscenes. And straight after that, there's another great cutscene here. Now, this I absolutely love. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, you! I've been doing this for ten stinking years! Back and forward, back and forward, and I'm sick of it! Well, I'm not gonna do it no more! Oh wow, well, <laughs> that was just genius. Why did I slide him? Why did I not spin him? <laughs> that was absolutely genius. I mean, wow. R.I.P. Uh, pacing Skunk, 1996 to 2004. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Yeah, you! I've been doing this. 
years, but ten stinking years. Back and forward, back and forward, and I'm sick of it. I ain't gonna do it no more. No, it's totally out of sync because the game is lagging, but I mean... Well, now I thought that that was not going to explode then. <laughs> but I've always found that really cool. And here we go, we've got another auto save, so at least the game, game progress is saved in case the game crashes or something. But anyway, here we go with our first boss. Now, this is pretty cool. Oh, I just got a notification about password expiry, so... Just ignore that ding sound, but anyway, uh, here we go uh, with our first boss, Dr. Neil Cortex. I mean, Dr. Neil Cortex first boss right at the start of the game. That's always kind of interested me, but anyway, here we go with that. Surprised to see me crash. Like the fleas in your fur, I keep coming back. Three years I spent alone in the frozen Antarctic wastes, and I miss you. And so I've organized a little gathering, like a birthday party, except the exact opposite. And look, all of your friends are here. You are so very popular. Let's start handing out the presents. So here we go with our first boss. And yes, it probably would have to be scripted because of Ensign Trilogy. And I think they did actually kind of like round it up to uh, 10 years, which is kind of odd. I mean, if it had said 8 years, it would have made more sense. And despite this game lagging really bad, I'm actually managing to play this pretty well. This is from Tiny. This is from Dingo Dial. Ripper, you shouldn't have. Now, I know for the actual lines for this game off by heart. Because I've actually played this so many times. But yes, I'd love to see a Crash to Insanity remake. They probably would have to change the script, just like you said. But I mean, they could base a new game of Crash to Insanity, if I'm not mistaken. And they could kind of like, tweak one or two things, I guess. And, and add the levels in that were cut, and keep the Twin Sanity levels and probably add more in. I mean, I'm not too sure. I mean, I mean, there's all sorts of possibilities. I mean, they're pretty much endless, guys. I mean... I mean, we've got Crash Insane Trilogy, we've got Nitro Fueled, and we've got Reignited, so... I mean, there's all sorts of endless possibilities for this Crash game. And I found this boss really easy, I mean, it's pretty much just a pattern, once you get to know the pattern, which you ought to know off by heart, like I said before. I've played this game so many times. I mean, it's not really a hard boss, I would say. I can't see at the minute, but how many people's watching the stream? I'm just interested to know what the number is of watchers because I can't view it because I've just got the pop up chat open. <laughs> and oh my gosh. That slow script is so funny. Five people watching. I mean, that's great. Five people is really good. So I'm really thankful that I've got five people watching right now. Because, I mean, I know that we have, uh, of course, you, Jonathan, watching. Jininja. Uh, I think Emil is watching. And so is Noel. And of course, official P. Uh, I forgot what it was PlayStation. Uh, uh, PSASD. So, uh, and I hope that a Twin Sanity remake will add more, like bosses and uh, Tiny Pinstripe Ripper Roo and even Nitrous Oxide. That's a good plan because I mean. 
Nitrous Oxide only really made an appearance in uh, CTR, so if it made an appearance in this game as well, even though Nitrous Oxide is not a character that I'm super fond of, I mean, that'd be two of the best games that Nitrous Oxide is featured in, so I'm all for that. Oh, and by the way, I just want to ask, just looking at the chat right now, are we going to do online races on Crash Team Racing Nitro Field again? On, uh, is it on Friday? On the 10pm live stream? If so, I'll really look forward to doing that, so. I mean, I'm all for playing Crash Team Racing Nitro Field any day online with my friends, so that will be really cool. Oh, and by the way, I've seen your uh, your latest uh, tweets, uh, Jonathan, saying you've been practicing a bit of Crash Team Racing Nitro Field late lately, which is pretty awesome. I mean, that's great news. I mean, apparently you've improved quite a lot of skill as well. And I mean, I retweeted it as well, that you managed to master the Engine Labs glitch, which, without a doubt, is pretty cool. And hey, the lag seems to have cured itself. There still seems to be one or two glitches going on, but maybe this is just less graphically intense. I'm not too sure, but... Unless my computer's just magically fixed itself. I mean, to be honest, I do need a new computer pretty soon. I mean, mine's falling apart. Like, physically, the casing's, like, all breaking away, and the screen's, like, hanging off, and... Uh, you know, the plastic's all starting to crack, because it's that old and had that much use. Uh, it's a 2015 uh, computer. By the way, but, I mean, I don't know what to get next. I mean, I've looked at the Razor Blade 15 and the uh, the MSI Stealth Fin, which are two good computers. I mean, I want to get a good gaming computer next time, which should be pretty good. I mean, the game's starting to lag again now, but, I mean, maybe it is time I upgraded to a new computer. I'm not too sure, but I just don't know if I want to splash out 1500 for a new computer. <laughs> because, I mean, that is quite a lot of money. And now you always got to take the right path. Now, believe it or not, why would you take the left path? Because, I mean, if you take the left path, not only do you not get the gem, but also it's a lot harder as well, which is just crazy. I'm not going to lie. And wow, this game is running slow, it makes you so impatient while you play it. <laughs> but you know, never mind. Anyway, you don't have to do this, but you can go to the right here. And you can get these two uh, life boxes. Which, and by the way, these X patterns on the floor, if you step on them trapdoors, basically they collapse within a set number of seconds. I think you'll like get three seconds. Anyway, before we continue, I'm just going to do a quick catch up on the chat. And Ryan won't be there tomorrow. Rip. Oh no. Oh, it's Friday the stream though, so yes, uh, it should be there. That's great news. And you're going to take the stream with you on your mobile downstairs because you're feeling hungry. And that's great stuff, uh, great news, Jonathan. So that's, uh, that's, you know, that you're watching the stream. I mean, you get to move around the house, so you get to uh, watch your stream as you're on the go. So that's pretty cool. Uh, he was playing his idle animation before the cutscene loaded all. <laughs> Do you see it? I did not see that. I mean, wow, that was pretty... Maybe I'll get Crash Nitro Kart soon on PS4. I think you mean Crash Team Racing Nitro Field, if I'm not mistaken, because I don't think there is a Crash Nitro Kart on PS4 that I know of yet. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, uh, we have... Uh, Oh, 
It would be a shame if somebody uses the glitches in online races. I suppose it is the exploit. I mean, it's good for getting fast wumper coins, but I mean, doing it for online races, I suppose it's cheating. I'm not going to do that. I mean, if people want to do it, I suppose they're really the bad losers, but. Uh. Oh, I've just thought of use of something. Maybe using frame skipping sometimes. I forgot what frame skipping on PS2 emulator is though. I think I've tried frame skipping, but unfortunately it doesn't work. I mean, the way the PS2 emulates, you can't do any frame skipping or anything like that or lose frames. You have to uh, simply have the game slow down because basically it uses an emotion engine, which I mean, if the game lags, it's going to slow down the game. I mean, that's how the PS2 work. PS2 works different apparently to PCs and modern consoles, which is quite an interesting fact in case none of you know, which... But yes, it's a shame that I can't use it. Uh, but yes, I saw you using the uh, frame skipping on your Spyro 3 Survival livestream, and wow, that was a dumb mistake. I clearly went too far then. <laughs> but you know, we're going to die a few times. And wow, we're right back here. That's great. Yeah, I don't want to use glitches either. I totally uh, feel you on that one. Yeah, sometimes frame skipping is funny and hilarious. I'm not going to lie about that. <laughs> I'm actually going to try something here that might reduce the lag. I'm actually going to... Uh, if I just go into my configuration settings here for the PS2 emulator. And I drop the resolution. Now, I don't exactly know how that's going to go, but basically what I've done is I've dropped the resolution just to native. And the game seems to be running a lot better. It doesn't seem to be running at full speed still, but it's running a lot better than it was. So, what I've done is I've reduced the resolution to native. And wow, I died again. Yeah, sometimes frame skipping is funny, especially like when the voices go high pitched. That's what seems to happen in EPSXE. When you frame skip. It makes all the music and voices squeak, I guess. <laughs> That's just what I said, which is pretty funny. Once again, can I make it onto that platform? Oh no! No, no, no. Right. I hope the picture quality still looks alright because I have had to reduce the in game resolution, unfortunately. I mean, maybe next time I could try to live stream in 720p as opposed to 1080. I mean, that could possibly help with the lag. I'm not too sure. But on the good thing, OBS has not dropped any frames, so that's at least one good thing. I've got to go. See you, Marcus. Yes, that's totally fine. So, thank you so much for stopping by in the stream. Uh, Uh, official PSASD. Uh. Now this is really tricky this jump in here. I always die laughing at it. Yes too. And actually there's actually an option in my PC to where you can actually adjust the pitch and stuff like that which is pretty cool. I don't know if I can really show it on the stream because my computer's lagging really bad but maybe sometime I might be able to show it again. No, 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 no. Right, you want to go on that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, now I didn't think I was going to make it because you have to go around that way, otherwise you can't get the gem. I thought I'd officially lost that. I mean, that would have been totally screwed up. <laughs> yes, I got the gem. And yes, you can adjust the bit pitch in Sony Vegas. Uh, yes, apparently there's a way to do that, but I tried that and it just sped the whole sound up as well, so it went out of sync, but... Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Oh, well. oh. 
And wow, this is lagging really bad. I don't have a clue what's going on here. This is really annoying. I just set the resolution back because it doesn't seem to have improved it apart from reduced the picture quality. So it's obviously not anything to do with the graphics, why the game is running like crap. And yes, you can make yourself sound like a girl through pitch pitch shifters. You can do all sorts of cool things in Sony Vegas. I mean, I've actually went and... Uh, and I know I'm dead here. I mean, wow. Now, that was a good recovery. I don't understand how I managed to do that. That was pretty awesome. And hey, we got this like little bit done here. First time, this usually takes me multiple attempts. Yes, the crystal is mine. <laughs> Keep back, you weak-minded fool! Avert your gaze, or you'll go crystal crazy. But as I was saying about the game running slow, what I don't understand is, the game is running... Well, it's correct, it's about, it's about, I don't know, about 20% of the CPU, and OBS is only using about a very small amount, like 6% right now. So I don't understand why the game is running so slow. And wow, I threw Cortex off the side. Now that is pretty funny, you can kill Cortex as many times as you want. And also as well, I don't know if you've noticed here, but there's lots of Akko Akko crates, but when you break them, you don't exactly get Akko Akko out of them. I don't understand why that is. I mean, it just seems to act like a normal apple crate. <laughs> the actual Crystal Fisher actually did it in Dio's Let's Play. And he actually died laughing. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. I didn't exactly know that I did that. I mean, I'll have to uh, try to find that sometime. Throw me over there. Trust me. We're pals, right? Oh no, right. I don't understand what the hell that, that was. That was horrible, that. I just fell straight off the side. Crystal crazy. Now, I, I've got to... I, I mean, I just love all the scripts in this game. I mean, this game I had in 2004 and I just took to it straight away. I mean, this is by far one of my favourite Crash games ever made. Now this has always been tricky, because you've got to like time this pit right. I mean, you don't want to accidentally go into the uh, gases, which will just vaporise you. And uh, Noelle is indeed in the stream, uh, so she's back. So I've been playing with my cat, so I couldn't comment, but I love this game too, Marcus. Yes, I agree so much. It's one of the best games ever made. And yes, that is indeed such a cute comment, because I mean... Crash to Insanity has always been just such a good game to me. I mean, I played it during my childhood, you know, when I was a young junior and also a, uh, I'd say a mid-teen. And I mean, I love this game so much. I mean, there's just nothing about it that I don't like. I know lots of people say it's overrated, but personally, I mean, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> because this is one of the best Crash games ever made. Oh, it's so bad. It's for... Right, this part here, like a big drill comes up. Now, a lot of people in my class at school always used to say that they played Crash for Insanity, but they could never get past the part where the drill comes up. So, <laughs> I suppose many people could relate on that on many levels, but I mean, it's a shame because there's so many great things past that. 
in this game, I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, the lag seems to have got a bit better, so it actually seems to have improved with time. I mean, this game is going really well. I mean, this stream's going pretty well, even though it is lagging a bit. And wow, I totally missed a crystal, so that means I'm going to have to hurry up, because otherwise, I'm going to end up getting got by the drill. Oh, no, no, no. It's approaching fast. Right, that's the thing. This drill does seem to approach pretty fast. Although you can afford to miss one or two. <laughs> At the crystals. Now this is interesting here because they're the only two in the game. But you know the green nitro detonation things. And I love how you can like see the drill spinning around here. And the camera like glitches out. <laughs> to where it like goes behind the drill and like inside the drill. I mean wow just look at that. <laughs> That's... Wow. I mean, I just can't help but keep looking at that. That's insane. And yeah, that section is really hard. I do agree there, Jonathan. And these green nitro crates? You know, the green explanation detonators that I just jumped on there? They're like the only two in the game. And they only explode so many nitro crates, so I don't understand what, what that is all about, but... And you only just played it for the first time in 2016. I mean, wow. I mean, you've missed out on so much good stuff all this time. Now, that is one design for this game. These uh, life crates. The life doesn't come straight out of them, unfortunately. So you have to, uh, if they're like in a place like that, unfortunately, you can't get the life out of them. And wow, it's lagging really bad in this section. I do apologise. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, these cutscenes are so funny. I mean, the humour in this game is really funny as well. Now, this is something that happens in a... If you go around here, you'll notice that there's now a cave, which I, I didn't really discover till later on. I mean, I loved exploring things like that. But, I mean, you just follow this... Wow, I just jumped straight into spikes. I don't understand what that was about. And I actually just gone and got a loading screen. Uh, so... What? I'm back here? Oh no, I didn't get a checkpoint and I died. Guys, I'm really sorry about that. I've just ended up officially back in the cave section here. I mean, that was absolutely diabolical. So, that was one heck of an epic fail. And that means we might have to watch the cutscene again, so I do apologise about that. I mean, this game would be a lot easier to play if it weren't lagging, but anyway, at least we're back to where we was before now, so no worries about that one. Anyway, we're going to get the checkpoint before we explore this part again. And they sold it in a retro game shop in Japan, but yes, it's just a shame that you didn't play this game until 2016. I mean, what have you been missing out on all this time? <laughs> Probably the best, one of the best Crash games ever made.
Where I say you just follow this tunnel around here, this cave, and you, you basically, you'll see in a minute a familiar place. Uh, if you remember that at the start of the stream, this like a... Uh, these two platforms and now they've finally risen so you have a shortcut back to the start of the game so I mean you can just like there's like now a quicker path so you can navigate around the islands which I mean this is an open world crash game which seems to be a pretty well executed thing now they've done that so you can go back to the start of this one but there does seem to be some design flaws in that as well because I mean if you go on to the 10th dimension you can't get back to the Iceberg Lab unless you fully complete the game, which has always been a serious flaw to me. But anyway, here we are in the second bay area now, just clear one or two things out around here. Now, I can remember as a kid being able to climb up that wall here, so you could actually skip right to uh, the boss, uh, the Tiki Mom boss, but, I mean, you can't do that. Uh, I'm not going to do that on the stream because I'm wanting to do 100%. So I'm going to go all the way around the Totem Hokum section. Well, I'm just going to catch up on the chat while this TNT crate explodes. I'm one of the weirdos who actually liked Tag Team Racing even though it was a mess. Now I've never played Tag Team Racing because for some reason I've never had it on PS2 and it seems to lag really badly. Which is just absolutely terrible, I'm not going to lie, I don't understand why it lags so bad. Now this is a task pushing haystacks around in order to get the gems, which... And I much appreciate the fact that this game is not lagging so much now. I mean it's lagging a little bit, but at least it's not lagging terribly like it was before. Now it's amazing that you're talking about Twin Sanity and Tag Team Racing and stuff like that. Because they actually split played the Spyro versions. Uh, Uh, versions of games like this, such as A Hero's Tale and Legends of Spyro and Enter the Dragonfly. I'm, I'm now, I know I really should. I mean, I've only played the original three Spyro games, but... I mean, comment in the chat if you think I should, really should play them. I mean, should I play Enter the Dragonfly first? And then possibly play a little bit of... Uh, maybe a hero's tale because apparently a hero's tale were pretty good and catch them on the chat I feel like the racing was a bit mare but I loved it the actual park was cool right the park I'm going to admit was really cool because I did have a game on PSP but I didn't really play too far into it it just didn't seem to get going for me but I might actually try to play it a bit more and persevere with it because I mean tag team racing was quite a good game Now this is an alternative actually to how I could play this game. I've got an Xbox 360 and you can actually get the original Xbox version of this game and it will play in the 360, I can't spit my words out, it will play in the Xbox 360 backwards compatible so maybe that could be an idea of something I could do if I could get hold of the Xbox version of this game. But that, that way you can escape the awful lag. Anyway here we go with the cutscene which is another awesome cutscene, I mean all these cutscenes of humour in this game is just absolutely great. Help me, Grass. You heard them. They want to destroy our island home. Humiliate me, enslave you, and steal my brain. How I envy the simple life of the tribes. Living in harmony with Mother Nature. The noble boar, the humble bumblebee. Now this like, chase level here, I mean, this like takes it to a whole new extreme compared to like the bold chase levels in the original Crash games. I mean, to me, I always found these really fun. Like the whole concept of these chase levels in Crash here. But it's not, I don't know what it, if you call it a chase level, but I'd kind of say it's a bit... It's kind of like the same idea, and wow, a crush cortex right at the start, that was absolutely ridiculous. Oh, I've got to watch the cutscene. Anyway, I'm going to catch up on the chat. So, uh, and I like how they brought Chicken Stew, stew back to, uh, to CTR, which I thought was a pretty cool idea as well, especially for all the Grand Prix. Uh, 
and Jonathan agrees. And yes, I loved A Hero's Tale, which quite surprised me, but I don't think it was bad at all. Sure, I still prefer the originals, but it's still great, so thank you so much for saying that. So yes, maybe I should have a go at doing uh, A Hero's Tale. And uh, here we go. Did you see the Japanese version on my stream? I didn't exactly see you stream the Japanese version of A Hero's Tale. Uh, oh, it's not. It, it's Crash Team Racing. That's the one. But it, yes, uh, I love seeing the Japanese version. It's cool to me. Especially, I thought it was pretty cool. Especially how they had all the different, uh, uh, you know, names for the tracks and stuff like that. And it's kind of similar to Mario Kart Double Dash, uh, uh, you know, with the new mechanics like Jininja says and stuff like that. So, yes, it does a bit like Double Dash. Now, that is something else I haven't played as well. What do you guys think to Mario Kart Double Dash? Because apparently Double Dash was one of the best Mario Karts ever made. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've played most Mario Karts apart from Double Dash, but apparently... Uh, I mean, my, the best one I've played so far is Mario Kart 8. I mean, it's a lot better than Mario Kart Wii, but... Maybe I should have a go at Double Dash. I'm not too sure yet. Maybe I could stream that next. I don't know yet. And another annoying thing as well is shadows seem to be missing from the emulation, so it's actually making it hard to gauge where I need to jump. So I don't understand why nothing's working properly tonight, that's so annoying. I really love the Japanese version, so glad you saw it. Yes sir, I agree, you ninja. Uh. <laughs> Lol, stole it. So they did kind of steal it from Mario Kart. Double Dash, I do kind of agree. But it was your first Mario Kart, and uh, <laughs> yes, sir, and that you played and you loved it. So apparently Mario Kart Double Dash does have a lot of hype, so I think I'm actually going to give that a go. Spider Spider Castle, yes, that's uh, Cortex Castle, because I mean Spider Vaz Spider Castle does make sense as well, because I mean you have, I mean I don't know if it's because there was no Japanese word for Cortex, but all the other tracks are different. I mean, it's like Zero Gravity Space Station and stuff like that for Oxide Station. I mean, all the Japanese tracks, uh, names for Crash Team Racing are pretty cool. Mario Kart did steal Anti-Gravity from Crash Nitro Kart, you're right. I mean, lots of pro Nintendo advocates are going to argue that Mario Kart brought it in. And probably if they put that in the new Crash Team Racing Nitro Field, which I'm convinced they took that out because of uh, Mario Kart 8 having the mechanic. But, really, being honest, it, I mean, Crash Nitro Kart had it first. And I love this part here. <laughs> but I mean, the anti-gravity mechanic, a lot of people didn't really approve of it in the original Crash Nitro Kart, but I personally quite liked it. Although it does make sense that they remove the anti-grav sections from uh, uh, Nitro Field because a lot of people weren't really a fan of them. And wow, this is running really slow again. I don't understand why that's happened. And I like how you can just drop the weight on any object on the bear. You can even get the bear trapped in places and it will still go after Cortex. <laughs> Not that the bear really makes a difference for the simple reason it's the objects in the path that's the problem. Now all I need to do is stand there and let Cortex complete the path. And as you may see, the bear is stuck. Because <laughs> the bear does kind of like get stuck halfway through and lost, which I've always kind of find it funny. Most of the shadows are missing from the console version as well. I never actually knew that. So thank you so much for pointing that out. In fact, I'm pretty sure that there was shadows, but maybe I'm wrong. I'll tell you what's bad, 
It's not when it lags, it's when it's lagging one minute and lagging the next. Um, not the next, I mean, it kind of like throws you off. I mean, you don't know when it's going to stop lagging, so you can't gauge jumps properly. Anyway, we're now into the level totem hokum, so uh, pretty fun level, I'm going to admit. It would be more fun if the game didn't lag, I'm not going to lie about that. And I've always found this kind of cool, although as a kid it used to take me hundreds of attempts to get past that because I mean, you always got got and I'm going to go to the next one to see if I can make it, can I? Yes, nice. Catch you on the chat, I need to read that word. Uh, well, because it's a name, they just spell and pronounce Korotu. Uh, Korotexu? Uh, I'm not too good at pronouncing <laughs> Japanese words, but yes, that's very true. And in some areas, it did seem pointless to add, like in Jungle Boogie. Which I do kind of agree, yeah. I mean, we don't need to add anti-gravity to every track. I mean, the original Jungle Boogie did not have anti-gravity. But I kind of like how they replaced the corkscrew in Tiny Temple for the uh, for that sort of like crossover section where you like do the secret jumps. And wow, oh, I thought I jumped too soon then. That was pretty bad timing, but I managed to survive. Well, it was good timing, to be honest. <laughs> this music is so hilarious with the lag, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and wow, this game is running so, so, so slow. I do apologise. Uh, it says, in lit areas, he had shadow, but in dimmer areas, in lit caves, it is missing. So, yes, that kind of made sense. But I suppose in that bee chase, it was in a lit area. So, I can't understand why the shadow was missing. But it just kind of makes sense. I mean, this does run a lot better on PS2. I'm going to not going to lie. And wow, I just jumped straight into the water. What a dumb mistake to make. Bray, at least we haven't been set too far back. We've just got to try this jump again. And I do at least have 28 lives. So it is not the end of the world. Oh, duck in the boat. Oh no, I jumped too soon. Oh good, right. I thought I was going to die then. I legit thought I was going to die. It says, uh, in this area, the sounds like they are saying, row, row, row your boat. <laughs> it kind of does, you know. That's what I've kind of thought they've always said. I mean, the music does sound, uh, I mean, I love the music. I mean, it's, if any of you don't know, it's all made by mouth. No musical instruments involved at all, which is pretty cool. And wow, we have the... Uh, I think they're like boars, I'm not too sure, but... I like to just kill them all, because they are going to lightly attack you. And wow, I just made it out of there. I thought I was actually going to get hot. Because I, I usually do get got every time, but somehow on this live stream I did not. Probably just pot luck that I'm doing really good. And if I named it Cortex Castle, it'd be called uh, Koratexu no Shiro, so. I suppose Kumo Kumo Shiro does sound cooler. And oh, well, that guy actually jumped up. I think they're called natives, I'm not too sure, but. I'm not exactly too sure what these enemies are actually called. And while well, they're all attacking me, I'm going to die. Oh no. I'm not going to bother going for them two lives because every single time I do that, I end up dead. <laughs> I mean, I've tried it hundreds of times over and over. Now, what is tricky is getting this gem over this water because what you've got to really do is you've got to kick a rock over the water. Oh no. That is bad. I'm in trouble. And he did not want to die. I don't understand what was happening there. That was pretty. Anyway, what we have to do is got to like kick that rock over the water, and it's got to like hit the nitros. But it can take a few times to practice it. 
I mean, jumping over the bridge of, of crates after that is a whole different matter. It does get a lot harder. And yes, I managed to do it this time. Awesome. You jumped straight in front of him and I didn't see you. Well, that was pretty weird. I mean, I don't understand why that happened. I mean... And why is the camera changing angle? That's so annoying. Oh, at least I made it over the bridge. But I'm probably going to die getting back. I mean, bet I am going to die. And no, I did not. Now, I don't understand how I'm doing so good at this game. Usually, I'm pretty bad. And I've also got the lag as well, so... I just can't understand why... I'm doing so good at this game, but yeah, it's lagging really bad. I mean, the lag's not really ruining the gaming experience. It's just really... Annoying. Booga Googa. <laughs> the way the Akku Akku mask lagged then, that was funny. <laughs> well, Kumo Kumo Kayansu, my mistake. So, yeah, we all make mistakes, uh, uh, Ginger. <laughs> I mean, I suppose learning a different language can be a bit tricky. Especially a language like Japanese, I would not get very far with that at all. <laughs> now this music in here, it's familiar to something. I mean, I've heard it loads of times before. Uh, not in the game. But I've heard this playing in like public places before. Well, I don't know, they like... I mean, I went to a Christian school as a uh, kid. And they kind of like played this in like a, I don't know, they like played it in like assemblies and stuff like that and it was, and the first thing that popped into my head was I used to shout out, whoa, Crash Twin Sanity music, <laughs> which kind of uh, is really. Kind of funny when you think about it, even though I did shout that a bit out of place, but I mean, I, only, I actually legit thought this was music from Crash for Insanity. I'm not exactly too sure what it's called, but... <laughs> the slowness and fastness can be fun, can be funny. You know, I actually just read that as fartness. <laughs> as mature as I am. Oh, we've got three more gems to collect, that's good. I forgot what the music is called in real life, but as I said, uh, they seem to play that a lot, as well as some other, like, I don't know, songs similar, because as I say, I went to a Christian school, so we used to play songs like that all the time. But I can't exactly remember what it's called either. Now here's a challenge, trying to get these two... ...gems here. I mean, all you've got to really do is be quick enough. Because then the moles won't go all the way back to the start, because that can happen. And you have to redo the whole thing again, which is pretty annoying. I'm not going to lie. Just don't fall down, like I just did. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> but, at least there's a shortcut back up here. All you've really got to do is just wait for the moles to come back into the places where you can make the jumps. Not that you always necessarily have to, because, I mean, you have your springboards. You've just got to wait for the mole to come back here. And then I can body slam it again, and I can move them right back to the end. And it says, don't put yourself down, it is easier if you get, if you love it, and get to study it, which I do. I mean, studying Japanese must have been so fun, Jininja. Oh, I've got to get on that roof real quick. And just got to wait for it to change over real quick. Now, with this lagging, it has made my life a lot easier. Because you usually have to react fast, but with the lag, you don't really have to. <laughs> and speaking of recording and lag and stuff like that, I have got to still record... ...the rest of my uh, Crash Team uh, Crash Nitro Kart Let's Play, which... ...I've got all the relics to get in the gems as well as beat Velo one more time, so hopefully I should be able to do that pretty soon uh, and get that Let's Play completed. I was going to complete my uh, 
my other Let's Play uh, of what is it called? Uh, Spyro 3 and Crash 3 and Ense, so they're done. But I think I'm going to leave that till after the summer because I want to have a bit of a break from recording Let's Plays to be fair and editing them and stuff like that. I know, we actually have Papo Papo's home, which was in Crash 1, which I've always found really cool as well. How to discover that, because that is probably where you thought. Uh, it, it actually shows the actual location where you thought uh, Papo Papo in the first Crash game, which is always interesting to me. Is that what the song's called? A cappella? And yeah, you do progress through learning stuff like languages, you're right. But yeah, a cappella seems a bit familiar. I'm not too sure if that's actually the name of the song, but... For all I know is, they play music like that all the time because I went to a Christian primary school. Anyway, here we go with the chase section now. This game does have a lot of variety and variation, which is pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to see if I can record it better though, I mean, next time. I mean, this, this turned out pretty well, and I did decide to persevere, which, I mean, a lot of people decide not to do, but, I mean, I suppose you've got to give me props for actually deciding not to give up. I mean, obviously, a lot of great people I have found in my life, such as, uh, uh, for example, Noel, if you're still watching and you still hear this, telling me never to give up, and actually, if it weren't for people like you, and uh, as well as Spiral Jonathan and stuff like that, I would not uh, be doing that right now, and I would not be progressing uh, as well as I am, so... That's probably one of the reasons why I'm doing Let's Plays right now, because if I wanted everything to be perfect like I did before, I mean, to be honest, I would not be recording so good now. And hey, I've managed to finish the chase section already and get all the gems in the Totem Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Now I don't like there, but it lags if you go that way. And yeah, never give up, says Jonathan. And uh, Streaming is easier than recording videos, I totally agree with you. And uh, I'm tired of editing and uploading videos because of internet speed. <laughs> Oh yeah, is it this is 0 0.29 megabits per second? <laughs> Which is absolutely atrocious. Really do get onto your internet provider. Really just 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 keep begging them until they give you faster speed. <laughs> that's what I did. And it worked. <laughs> and uh she goes, Oh, that's so yes, it probably agrees with me about that's so sweet, thank you for saying that, Marcus. You're very welcome. I mean, obviously, all of you inspire me to do all great things, so. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. And oh thank you too Marcus says Jonathan and uh, Alpaca is a type of music where music always oh, people's voice ah, I see so that's uh I read that as alpaca. <laughs> alpaca? Uh a cappella, which I mean the music in this game is really good, I'm not gonna lie. And sorry to hear that you have bad internet. I know that's really bad. I mean, I'd love it if you could live stream, but I mean... But yes, don't give up and keep going. That's exactly the point, Ninja. Thank you so much. And you all inspired me too, so you're all very welcome. If uh, I helped as well in that matter. Oh, Crash. The farmer's market is tomorrow. And my wampa trees won't grow, for my orchard is riddled with greedy worms. If you rid my land of these pests, I'll give you this power crystal. The actual slow down voices are pretty funny. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm an evil scientist. What do you expect? This isn't a game. This isn't a game. This really is not a game. I mean. I think you might find that it actually is. And I like how they've like implemented a whack-a-mole minigame. Now, I'm not going to lie here. I much prefer this whack-a-mole minigame as opposed to the uh, whack-a-mole minigame that's in Crystal Islands and Spyro 3. Oh, that is an absolute nightmare. I absolutely hated uh, doing that minigame to 100% Spyro 3. I'm not going to lie. 
Although every time I play Spyro, I only do it for 100%, so every time I play Year for Dragon, I've got to do that. And probably another reason why I'm not a fan of Year for Dragon so much myself. This way. Apparently you and Noel are planning something pretty soon, which is pretty cool uh, to say that, Jonathan. And yes, the community is lovely and helps so much, I totally agree. Obviously, we've all got allies for each other, which uh, of course on your latest video and stuff like that. And yes, sir, uh, it's also reignited <laughs> the the mole challenge. I totally agree. <laughs> and uh, she says, and Jonathan is right, which totally uh, is. Oh, absolutely, Joseph. Yep, yeah, totally agree. We're all there to help each other, which is a very good point. Anyway, here we go with another boss. But before we do that, I'm just going to say one thing. Apparently, you're going to do a speed run. If you're going to do speed runs in Spyro, uh, I'd absolutely love to join a speed run. So, if sometime we could do a speed run together, any of us in Spyro, be it the original or reignited, please do let me know because I will be totally down. Anyway, we're just going to do this boss. Now this boss always did like creep me out as a kid, but I mean, this is pretty awesome boss fight. I mean, all the boss fights in this game are pretty cool and they're pretty solid. I mean, they do have challenge. I mean, they're a lot harder. I mean, let's say CTR is the easiest bosses in Crash, but I mean, these do provide a lot of challenge. But what I do is, uh, basically, if you're far away, he like uses his foot to attack. But if you get close, he uses his hands, which you will see just like that. But you're better off really just going in the distance where he uses his foot, because then you don't have the shockwaves. And yes, I'd love to be a part of them things as well, such as speedruns, so... Just feel free to uh, ask me any time. And yes, I'd love to see you do a speedrun as well, Ninja. To see how well you do, and excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Got a bit of hiccups for some reason, I don't understand why that is. But anyway, here we go. Uh, we got. Oh, yay, I would love that, totally agree. We'd all love to do it, we should all do a speed run together. And also, what about Ashley uh, Brianna, except Ashley X39? I'd love to see her join a, uh, a speed runner. I mean, I haven't exactly heard much from her for a while, and. If she could do some speed runs as well, that'd be pretty cool. Now, this is something that I've always learnt as a kid. When he does his laser beam in a minute, don't run round in circles. Honestly, if you run round in circles, you're likely to get hit. So what you want to do with that is just run to the side. And then by the end of the boss fight, you should be at the right end to exit the level. So. I suppose that's uh, two advantages in one there, so... So instead of running around in circles, what I would do is just run to one side. And make your way around, because I mean, if you run around in circles, you're likely to get burnt. So basically just work your way around, and then it's easier, and you're going to get, uh, you're going to be at the right end for leaving the level. Well, moving on to the next area, should I say. It's just such a shame, I mean this stream's gone pretty well, it's gone not as well as I thought because I mean the game has run at about 50% speed most of the time, but I mean, apart from that, really, the game has run quite good. I have some new speed, right, speed run ideas that I have come up with, uh, which you'll see very soon, so uh, whatever they are, uh, 
I'd love to see what they are, and I'd love to see the speed runs as well. Yes! Right, here's Toast. Awesome. And wow, this is running really slow now. Maybe it was not a good idea to go to the other end. Especially with my computer being the way it is. Now, that is lagging absolutely horrifically. <laughs> it looks like he's dying saying goodbye. So long. <laughs> that was funny. Ocean of my intellect swims a magnificent whale of a plan to the laboratory. We're not beaten yet. The game is on. I suppose when I edit the stream, I could maybe speed it up in places, but then my voice would be totally out of place. So maybe I should not do that. <laughs> I really don't know, but obviously I've got to trim and edit the stream because I did put music at the start. Now, anyway, this is the ticking mon uh, monster dead. Do not touch it, because you will kill yourself and you will hurt yourself, so I advise not to do that. Now, that's pretty cool, I've always found, uh, is there's like this arch that goes over that. I mean, they exist in the real world. I want to know how they're formed, because that's actually always kind of interested me. Here we go, let's have a look at the chat real quick before we continue. So, uh, if I just read the chat... Uh, I enjoyed watching yours and Noah's speedrun. Uh, yes, I remember watching that as well. And one got 12 gems. <laughs> I think, who was it? Uh, was it Noel got the 12 gems only? Oh. Was it, I can't remember the outcome. I think Noel won that speedrun, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, well, it was actually a challenge, not a speedrun. Uh, the other idea came up with actually worked really well for a four way speedrun, so yes. Uh, I'd absolutely love to be a part of that faraway speed run if you don't mind uh, that. Uh, and oh, thanks so much. That was great, and it was uh, a great uh, stream, by the way. I should have a computer ne next week. Uh, uh, I will let you know when I have it. So that's pretty cool, Ninja. Is it a gaming computer that you're getting? Because I mean, they're obviously better for gate streaming and stuff like that. And yep, Noel got 12, and I got 52. <laughs> so that was a pretty di big difference, substantial. I mean, it's 40. I mean, come on, that's a pretty high number. And yeah, that was kind of funny, I agree. Uh, says Max. I don't think I will be in Jonathan's stream tomorrow. Uh, but Which is kind of a shame, because I'd like to actually see you join streams again, uh, Max. Uh, A.K.A. Daijiro. I mean, you've been in the stream tonight. I mean, I've seen you put one or two good comments on and stuff like that and actually speaking of it while I'm at it I'm just going to do something real quick uh, to uh, so if I just go to uh, Jonathan and basically you might notice a difference now and same for uh, Noel as well and of course Jininja uh, because now as you may notice I have actually done something to your uh, to your things in the chat. So now you are indeed all mods, which is a. Uh, I thought it would make a pretty good sense to do that all for you. So Jonathan, Noel, and uh, Joseph are now all moderators. So so at least if there's any trouble in the streams, anyone, anybody trying to sell the pants, which is not allowed in the chat. You can kick them out. <laughs> and yes, I thought we'd make your mods on here because you made me mods on the stream as well. And yes, tomorrow is Thursday. It's Friday that they're going to do the stream. Now, this is always tricky because you've got to jump on the TNTs and then you've got to jump on that. 
and wow I died because there's actually a, a, a gem hidden in between all them nitros which is quite annoying so you've got to like get this jump accurate on here which I believe I've got it yes I've already got the gem so obviously I died and got the gem but obviously the gem collection sound didn't uh, Uh, Janin just put not for me even though he has retracted a message I'm not too sure what you said but uh... and Noel says ah I'm not exactly too sure what that's for but I thought I'd just make you all mods on the uh, stream and well I jumped on that barrel and it exploded the uh, the crate there which is pretty now I'm not too sure if this is a good idea or not but I'm going to try to go for that life crate and yes, it actually worked. I didn't exactly expect that to happen at all. A mod. Yes, you are indeed a mod. Uh, Noel Jonathan and uh, Janinja. So yes, thank you so much. And uh, and yes, I am still dealing with lag, unfortunately, Emily. I mean, obviously this has not gone to plan too much tonight. But hey, at least I persevered and managed to continue with the stream as uh, normal. Q Zelda victory sound. <laughs> That's kind of what it reminds you of, I suppose. Uh, even though I've only played Breath of the Wild a little bit of it. I mean, to be honest, I like Breath of the Wild, but it just kind of like seemed to stress me out with some of the shrines. <laughs> Trying to figure them out. I end up having to search them online in the end, which is kind of annoying. There's one shrine I'm stuck on right now. I'm not so sure what it's called, but it's one where you like have to divert a boulder that you like roll down a waterfall. And you have to like put ice blocks up and stuff like that and use your thing to freeze time. That shrine is really annoying. It's located near one of the four kings or something like that, I'm not too sure, but anyway, it's a shrine I'm really struggling on. <laughs> and yes, they're hard and the game is huge. I still haven't fully completed it. I'm probably only like I'm not even a tenth away through it, Noel, so don't feel bad. <laughs> Yeah, so after you wake up, it's Thursday. It's Thursday now, believe it or not, in the UK and in Japan and Australia and places like that and Europe uh, and Final Fantasy. Uh, it's Thursday for me, yes, uh, Jininja. I'm happy that you, uh, you're my mods on channel as well. Yes, so I thought I'd just put you as mods too. I know, yeah, they're, yes, uh, I just read that comment, I don't know why I'm reading it again. Yeah, because I realised people uh, were confused with John's stream. You're all very welcome from me at least, and I'm happy you, uh, you made us all mods. We are like the stream team. Yes, we are. Because obviously Jonathan made me and uh, Noel a mod on his stream, so that's actually uh, pretty thankful for what he's done for that. But anyway, at least I've managed to accomplish what I wanted to achieve in the stream. So, uh, that is that, I suppose, uh, everyone. So, uh, I've managed to actually complete the first island. And the stream team, OMG, so cute, I totally agree. And, uh, but yes, yeah, so I think that's part one of my Crash to Insanity Let's Play all completed. And it actually has gone pretty well, so the stream has been going quite well. And yes, uh, I hope you all enjoyed the stream everyone, so obviously we're now in the Iceberg Lab, which we'll be doing in part 2, if we can get the stream going again, because obviously I don't want to be doing this again if it's going to lag, but I mean, if as a last resort I will, but I really don't want it to do that again, I mean, that was pretty annoying, hopefully next time we're not going to have to deal with lag again, so, uh, yes, hashtag stream team, <laughs> quality. So, uh, I've just uh, caught up on the chat now, so I think it's now time to end the stream, everyone. I mean, we've pretty much accomplished everything we have. Obviously, when I edit the stream tomorrow, I'm going to edit out all the technical difficulties and stuff like that, but, you know, that's up what the stream has been tonight. So, anyway, uh, I hope you all enjoyed part uh, one of my Crash for Insanity Let's Play, everyone. Uh, so, thank you so much for watching the stream. And Noel confirmed that she loved it. And uh, 
yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. And it's been so nice having people here. I mean, five watching, last per time someone confirmed. So, yes, uh, that is that, everyone. So, of course, uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'm so glad you all enjoyed the stream, everyone. So, obviously, next week we're going to do in the Ice World. Uh, hopefully get into the Academy of Evil on the airship, which is up there, which you can't see yet. I mean, I don't even know if it's spawned in yet, but anyway... Uh, this is a, uh, and I loved it and did great, said Jonathan, so thank you so much for that. And uh, But yes, it is now time to end the stream, everyone. So, of course, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and the Gin Ninja says, see you around. Keep having fun, everyone, and well done tonight. So everyone is confirmed that I've done well on tonight's stream. So anyway, I'm just going to end it now. So, uh, of course, thank you so much for watching. And I'm so glad you all enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you all next week in part two so uh, if all goes to plan so anyway uh, thank you so much for watching uh, once again everyone and I will see you all in next week's stream so for then uh, until then take care everyone and uh, of course goodbye uh, for now and I'll hope to see you all in next week's stream so uh, thanks again I will see you all in next week's stream so take good care and goodbye for now